The Infinity Gauntlet is one of the most powerful objects in the entire Marvel Universe, essentially gifting unlimited reality-changing power to anyone who is able to combine it with all six Infinity Stones. And while there's a certain purple villain who is best known for using the Infinity Gauntlet, he's not the only bad guy with an interest in unlimited power. Hey everybody, I'm Josh Busker, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 villains who have held the Infinity Gauntlet. Coming in at number 10, we have Nebula, the adopted daughter of Thanos. While Nebula has always been a complex character with complicated motives no matter what version we're talking about, the Nebula of the comics had a much different role in the Infinity Saga than the one many are familiar with from the movies. In the original Infinity Gauntlet miniseries, Nebula was tortured by Thanos into becoming a half-dead, zombie-like creature, doomed to wander around Thanos' throne as punishment. However, when Thanos ascended to godhood and left his physical body after defeating much of the Marvel Universe's most powerful forces, Nebula found the strength to pull the gauntlet off of Thanos' arm and claim the power for herself. In her fury, she undid all of Thanos' actions, but nearly threatened to destroy the universe herself before she was eventually defeated and had the gauntlet taken from her by Doctor Strange, Adam Warlock, and the Silver Surfer. Coming in at number 9, we have the Council of Reeds. While not commonly known as outright villains, the Council of Reeds have a complicated history with the Mr. Fantastic most commonly seen in Marvel Comics. A collection of Reed Richards from across the multiverse that have chosen to abandon their families and entire worlds behind in order to combine their intellect into one unified group, the Council of Reeds claim to do everything they do for the better of of the multiverse, as their new home is in the expanse in between the different universes. All of this is possible due to the leaders of the Council of Reeds having taken the Infinity Gauntlets from their own realities and used them to create everything needed for their council to function. Incredibly smart but emotionally distant dudes with a trio of Infinity Gauntlets in their possession? What could possibly go wrong? Coming in at number 8, we have Magus, the arch enemy of Adam Warlock. Following the events of the original Infinity Gauntlet storyline, Adam Warlock separated his personality into a good and evil half, and in a twist that nobody could have seen coming, the evil half wound up getting out of control. Named Magus, this twisted version of Warlock used multiple cosmic cubes to launch a war against the Marvel Universe, creating evil doppelgangers to fight every superhero on the planet Earth. Magus eventually got his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet, and was only able to be defeated after that point because Thanos had replaced the Soul Gem with a fake. Good job, Thanos. Totally makes up for all the other stuff you've done. Coming in at number 7, we have Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin. In the alternate What If reality of Earth 14154, Norman Osborn discovered the existence of the Infinity Gauntlet while serving as the leader of Hammer. Ordering several other villains to assassinate members of the Illuminati, Norman was able to assemble all of the Infinity Stones and granted himself the name of the Goblin King before attacking Asgard alongside his newly powered up army of Dark Avengers. Standing victorious, the only thing left for Norman to do was, interestingly enough, try to work out his father issues, bringing his deceased dad forward in time to see all that he had accomplished. But when his father reacted with only horror at what Norman had done, Norman obliterated him from the timeline, unintentionally removing himself as well, because if there's one thing comic books love, it's weird, timey-wimey paradoxes. Coming in at number 6, we have the infamous Doctor Doom. On the alternate world of Earth 9251, Victor Von Doom was able to hold on to the Beyonder's powers that he had briefly gained in the main Marvel Universe during the Secret Wars crossover. With the strength of the Beyonder at his disposal, Doom was able to easily defeat an army of heroes assembled by Sue Storm, and was able to ascend to the level of godhood within this universe. Funnily enough, by the time he collected the Infinity Stones and the Gauntlet, he no longer even needed their strength. He simply wore the Gauntlet as a trophy, showing that the former most powerful objects in the universe were now just trinkets to him. Coming in at number 5, we have the Ultimate Hulk. 
Now, while I personally believe the Hulk deserves to be called a hero more often than not, the version of Bruce Banner from the Ultimate Universe does have a nasty habit of going completely out of control on a more regular basis than the usual Marvel Universe. While imprisoned by S.H.I.E.L.D., the Hulk was visited by the Ultimate version of Kang the Conqueror, who gifted the Hulk two different Infinity Gauntlets capable of wielding the eight stones of the Ultimate Universe, but at the moment only possessing five of them. Using the gauntlets, the Hulk was able to break free from his prison and bring the fight to the rest of the Ultimates team, showing that maybe locking up the Hulk isn't the greatest idea in the world. Coming in at number 4, we're hopping over to DC with Darkseid. That's right, the character that's often controversially compared to Thanos has actually wielded the Infinity Gauntlet himself during a particularly notable crossover. In the JLA slash Avengers miniseries, important artifacts from both the Marvel and DC Universe are spread throughout the multiverse and ordered to be collected by both the Avengers and the Justice League, with one of these artifacts, of course, being the Infinity Gauntlet. Unfortunately, its hiding place is on Darkseid's home of Apocalypse, and the evil ruler is already wearing the gauntlet. Luckily though, the Infinity Stones themselves wind up having no power in the DC Universe, allowing the heroes an easier time in recovering the gauntlet, but the thought of Darkseid being allowed to take full control of the Infinity Stones is still an incredibly foreboding thought. Coming in at number 3, we have Ultron. In the Disney Plus series What If, Ultron is the final big bad of the first season, in an alternate universe where he's able to fulfill his plan of taking over Vision's body and uses the power of his single Infinity Stone to destroy this Earth's Avengers and cause a nuclear apocalypse. To make matters even worse, when this reality's Thanos arrives with the gauntlet and the other five Infinity Stones collected, Ultron is able to kill Thanos with ease and take the stones that he oh so kindly collected for him. This version of Ultron becomes so powerful that even the Watcher is forced to break his vow and form the Guardians of the Multiverse to stop him, as Ultron's ambitions have him beginning to conquer entire realities. Coming in at number 2, you know we can't have a list about the Infinity Gauntlet without giving Thanos a slot. And while the comic version of Thanos is obviously iconic and the main inspiration for all the various adaptations that would follow, my personal favorite version has to be the one from the MCU portrayed by Josh Brolin. This version of Thanos isn't lusting after death, but rather has gotten it stuck in his head that the only possible way to save the universe is to wipe out half the life in it. Thanos is obviously one of the more powerful villains in the entire Marvel multiverse, but the most chilling thing about the MCU version is just how calm and resigned to his task he is, especially in Infinity War. This is a guy that just wants to commit his cosmic genocide because he feels he has to, and then go settle down on a farm. And finally, coming in at our top spot, the one character more villainous than Thanos is… Santa Claus. No, I'm not being a Scrooge. I love Christmas, but the Marvel Universe has actually had it that Santa Claus was briefly one of the most powerful villains to ever wield the Infinity Gauntlet. Following the disappearance of his reindeer, Santa asked the Avengers if he can borrow the Infinity Gauntlet in order to deliver all of his toys in one night. Unfortunately, this winds up being a bit too much for Santa to handle, and he goes mad with power, only finally being able to be stopped by a well-aimed snowball from Namor. It's debatable on whether this holiday one-off was a canon adventure or not, but at least now we always know that Thanos and Santa Claus have something in common. That's all for today's list, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let us know down in the comments who your favorite character that's ever used the Infinity Gauntlet is. As always, I've been Josh Busker, and I'll see you all next time, Nerd Squad.